Mali's Special Action Force Unit, SAF, did not have a detailed record of incoming and outgoing firearms. The Shah Alam High Court also heard on Wednesday a witness admitting carelessness in recording the return of ammunition. Another interesting testimony was that eight police officers assigned to arrest Abdul Raza Baginda had refreshments served by the third accused before the arrest. The 15th witness, Constable Fatima Abdul Wahab, testified that not only herself, but all senior officers too, did not recall the issuance and entry of ammunition at the firearm store. She said one officer would conduct the issuance of firearms on behalf of others if the official duty is to be carried out in a group. The duties include escorting important persons or very important persons. Fatima also admitted that there was a record of Corporal Cyril Azhar Omar taking out ammunitions for the MP5 silencer firearm from October 4th until October 30th, 2006. She said according to the record, it was to be used for official duties. However, the 30-year-old policewoman admitted being callous in not recording the bullets returned by the second accused. Earlier, the 14th witness, DSP Lim Meng Xia, one of the officers tasked to arrest the political analyst, said among the items seized at the third accused office were five letters. They were found in a Hotel Malaya envelope, which contained, among others, notes saying, you love money or love your life, and I came with my father, waiting outside, from Abdul Razak's office. The prosecution witness also told the court that Abdul Raza did not put up any resistance and cooperated fully with the police when arrested at his office. The 44-year-old police officer said the third accused had refreshments served to him and the other seven police officers who had to perform the job of arrest. Besides Constable Fatima and DSP Lim, two other policewomen also testified on Wednesday. They were Constable Azura Azwa Abdul Kadeh and Lance Corporal Lina Anna Asing. Yeah, yeah, yeah.